I'm going to find the domain and the range of the relation given here as a set of ordered pairs. Then we're asked to determine whether the relation is a function. When we have a relation given as a set of ordered pairs, for each ordered pair, the first value is the input, and the second value is the corresponding output. And therefore, because the domain is a set of all possible inputs, the domain is going to be the set containing all of the first values in the set of ordered pairs. So the domain of the given relation will be negative eight, and notice how for each ordered pair, the input is negative eight, and therefore the domain is the set containing the value of negative eight. And because the range is a set of all possible outputs, which again is the second value of each ordered pair, the range for the given relation will be the set containing all of the second values of the ordered pairs. So the range is the set containing eight, seven, six, and five. But we should give the values in order from least to greatest. So the range is five, comma, six, comma, seven, comma, eight. And notice how when given the domain and range, we should include the values in braces, which are already provided for us. Next, we're asked to determine whether the relation is a function, where a function is a special relation. A function is a relation in which each input has exactly one output. So looking at the ordered pairs, notice how the input of negative eight has more than one output. It actually has four different outputs. The input of negative eight has an output of eight, seven, six, and five, and therefore the relation is not a function. To make it even more obvious the relation is not a function, let's show the relation using a mapping where this set will be the domain or set of all possible inputs, and this set will be the range or the set of all possible outputs. So in this set we know we'll have negative eight, in this set we'll have five, six, seven, and eight. To show the relation using a mapping, for each input, we'll draw an arrow to the corresponding output. So for this first order pair, we have negative eight comma eight, which means when the input is negative eight, the output is eight. To show this relation, we draw an arrow from negative eight in the domain to eight in the range. Next order pair is negative eight comma seven. When the input is negative eight, the output is seven. So we draw an arrow from negative eight in the domain to seven in the range. Next ordered pair is negative eight comma six, so we draw an arrow from negative eight to six. And then the last ordered pair is negative eight comma five, so we draw an arrow from negative eight to positive five. Notice how it's very easy to see here that the input of negative eight does not have exactly one output. For this relation, the input of negative eight has four different outputs, and therefore the relation is not a function. Another way to determine whether a relation is a function is to look at the graph of the relation. So let's also look at this before we go. Because we have four ordered pairs, we would have four points on the coordinate plane, which are already graphed here, where we have the inputs along the horizontal axis, usually the x-axis, and we have the outputs along the vertical axis, usually the y-axis. So for example, this point here represents the ordered pair negative eight comma five. Here we have negative eight comma six. Here we have negative eight comma seven and negative eight comma eight. To test to see whether a relation is a function graphically, we use what's called a vertical line test. The vertical line test states that if a vertical line intersects a graph of a relation more than once, the relation is not a function. So notice how if we sketch vertical lines across the graph, Right here, the vertical line intersects the graph in more than one point, it actually intersects the graph in four points. So because a vertical line intersects the graph in more than one point, the relation is not a function. So we can say the relation fails the vertical line test, the relation is not a function. This vertical line here is telling us that the input of negative eight has more than one output, it actually has one, two, three, four outputs, which again are the second values in the ordered pairs. I hope you found this helpful.